Hi guys, we are taking another look at another map I did build for The Sims 3. This one is one of my bigger maps, it's a medium size of a map. I barely ever do that because uh, it makes my game lag. <laughs> at least for me it's like that because I'm using custom content. If you just play with your um, normal sims that you just bought from the shop and do not add so much custom content like I do because I love the custom content you will have less problems of course. So I'm going to show you a bit around on the map because I did put a lot of detail in this one. You will immediately notice that there is a lot of different coloring on the map. That's one of the map I think one of the maps I, I used most uh, different colors and textures on. Uh, some are made by myself also, uh, I think most of them, <laughs> probably. And um, I added some spots where you can put some towns down. And as you can see, I did make a big island here. It's a northern island, so you have a lot of pine trees and other trees that you will only find on northern worlds. In northern areas. This is here my little river that I added. I want to try to show you around a bit on the map because it's really huge and you might enjoy it also to see what I did here. I made some nice roads uh, with a lot of trees around also some dead ones because that uh, is just as it would be in real life, some alleys that you can pass by, you can pass through them. And um, there is of course also in the distance a lighthouse, because that just fits to the northern map style. Uh, on this map I got the lots, uh, a few lots down, so that you can immediately use those if you want to. Uh, there is a lot of uh, custom content plans on this one. You can immediately see that. I try to really make the whole map look very natural. I was um, in real life from the childhood on, I was um, mainly um, painting and writing. That was my favorite in earlier times. Here you have a little spot with fishing boats and a mine entrance to the seaside. I always loved painting and writing, just unfortunately my parents did not really support me in my art at all because they had the opinion that uh, you will not earn any money in life if you do such things, if you're just a creative person. But you know what guys, I'm now 60 years old and I have been creative through all my life, always enjoyed doing it. If you have that inside of you, if you hear that call, just follow it and do whatever makes you happy because it is so important to live a happy life. You only got one life and don't listen to people. Even if they are your parents, if they tell you not to do stuff that you love to do, you should always follow your own inner voice. Okay, let's hope I'm not getting stuck here. This is a little park I made. This is also included in the map. So it's not on a lot. It's just directly painted into the map. And here is a little pass going up the mountains that your sims can also walk up here, walk up to the mountain here. And as you can see, it's kind of a bit wilderness, trying to get you the feeling and view that you would have uh, if you would use the map with your sims and follow the, the view they have. So it goes back down here. Uh, there's really some untouched nature on this map that I did put a lot of attention in because I really love that kind of nature a lot. So you will find super cute spots here on the map to put your own house down and enjoy the view. 
That's something I really did put a lot of attention into because I like that for myself. If my sims are living anywhere, I want them to have a very special, beautiful spot to live at. So you can easily see that I did put some attention into all the details. This is a little Fisher Harbor building. Then we can... Whoops, I'm getting stuck a bit. That's what happens to me usually if I use a bigger map. That's why I barely ever use those. So let's see, you can go up here and take a look over here. There's an old pier down here. That's abundant. And also some wild landscape. But you can also go up here will scroll a bit away that you can easier see that and you will find up here a little village spot where you can build your village one of the villages that you can build here there are some ruins and an old um, train bridge that I dropped here to show you around you can see that train bridge here from that side better Oh, you see it? This is just put into the mountain. Then I dropped here an old building to the side of the vill village so that it looks a bit like a very old spot. And some apple trees, or cherry trees, whatever you would uh, view them. And there's only that one church building that is, I think this is a school. And that's from the uh, original game. That is a uh, game made uh, building. That means you get them by the Sims 3 game itself. If you have the uh, DLCs for the Sims, then you will also have all those buildings. Okay, so I made here a nice pass. Uh, you can see that it goes up to the village and goes also downwards. There's a small tiny walking path to the left and there's a street going down here to the uh, river. This uh, little path ends up here with a itsy tiny spot for a house building if you like the spot. You will see that there is a waterfall nearby that goes down to the river. There is the waterfall to the left. In game, when you um, activate uh, the uh, go back to the game uh, button here, then you will see, of course, the water falling down here. I don't have that right now because we are here in create uh, the town, build the world town. And by this, you see the water not floating down. This is the little pond that the water comes uh, down to. So it starts up here and goes down here. And of course I try to make that a bit swampy down here. Here you can see that you have some grassy boulders and some um, lilies in the water, water lilies. And yeah, of course a lot of leaf texture around the pond also because that fits very well. So up here is also a spot to the other side where you could have a house and live. And there is kind of connection to this road over there. It's not really a connection, but you, the Sims can walk there. Here you could put down a farm if you are up for it. Uh, that's a really beautiful spot for a farm. And that's a little barn, kind of. Um, here you come down to the seaside. There's a possibility to put some house here also. This is just the ocean view. That's a tiny little um, harbor pier for the sailboats here. And you have here a beach hut and some shops and a diner parking slot parking place 
and the usual stuff you would find at the beach. There's some for the children, playground-wise, and some umbrellas to lay down at the beach. And I tried to make this spot also nice and flat so that you can also drop here some building if you are up for it. Then we got here the beach and in certain times of the day, at certain times of the day, it looks really beautiful here with the rock formation I made in water. When the sunset goes down, when the sunset comes or the sunrise and sunsets. Um, then it's especially beautiful here. Let's take a look up here. We have a little road that leads from the beach that we just saw. Sorry for having a bit of a delay here because um, if I'm scrolling up, I have to let the game reload this, whatever we did here. Here is the road. The road is going further into that direction where you have a nice spot for some uh, garden houses or something like that, that you can place here or something that fits to the farm area that I made here. And there's also a road that goes up here to the other farm spot that I showed you before. Let's follow this road. Here is the farm spot I showed you. And up here you will see that it leads um, down through the water again. Yeah, there is a nice uh, weekend spot where people could go for a walk, have a little stroll along the beach or have a picnic. That's down here. And you can of course also place some house here and along the beach side here is more room for you if you want to have anything down here at the beach. There are some walkways along the coastline. As you can see I made them rather greenish so that they fit into the landscape. And here we are back to the abundant pier that I showed you before. So we are going back up to the little village spot that I already showed you. I'm trying to really give you an overview about everything here on the map so that you have an impression if it is worth getting the map for yourself or not. So this is our little bridge here at the river that we got. And there is of course also some forest. The forest is in here. I try to make that also very natural looking. And yeah, mainly there is a lot of plants and texture involved here. Here is some fog usually in the forest. I extra did uh, drop a fog uh, creator here, a fog, little fog box that you can put into the landscape if you want to have that. Let's see, where are we going? Are we still going the right way? I hope so. I'm lost in the woods now. <laughs> yeah, I think we are still going the right way. So that's where you will end up when you go through the forest. You will end up at an alley and a road that goes back to the river up here. There is an old broken down mill at the water side. I will show you that. And 
And there is a quite swampy area also. It's, you see here the trees, the typical swampy trees that I did put down. And this is all swampy area here. This. Okay, so you've got plenty of room to live everywhere and drop houses for your sims. This map. Let's go back to the alley and take a look if you like that one also. This is my nice alley I made. It's really not so easy to navigate through the map with scrolling all the time as much down as I can, but I'm trying to do my best to show it all. Okay, so now we are at the big city spot. There will be a harbor, you will see that immediately. There are some boats and ships. And this is only a very, very small uh, spot that I did make so that you can add around here some more harbor area if you want to, if you're up for it. And there are also here in the town, there are only very few buildings that I took from some other map. Not everything is made by me. Um, I'm partly just using stuff other people did create and add that into my own map, but I cannot tell you the names anymore because I totally lost track of what I downloaded where. I'm sorry. Um, I just want to mention that if anyone sees his own stuff, uh, I totally admit that I did not do the uh, decorations here on the map. They are custom content or original game content that I did not create. I just created the map and the roads and stuff, you know, and the textures, of course. So from here you have also a nice river view. You could put down, that's what I did at least, some nice boat houses here. Uh, looks super nice if you use some northern buildings. This is my farming area that is more extens extensive farm uh, farming use. Over here is kind of dead end of the road. You can drop down a nice house here if you want to have it um, near the river also. Possibility to not live in town. I made a lot of fields here so that uh, you just have for the look of it some nice farm area. Here is the lighthouse I dropped. And you can of course drop some more nice lots here and make it even nicer. Also up here I did always put some more Italian looking like houses. I made some extra big spots for that because it just fits to the farm area a lot. And we are back down here at the farming area that I showed you already. So this is my northern, medium northern map it's called. And you might enjoy playing on this one also. Um, this one is definitely already up on my Sims 3 page. I will give you a link to the page so that you can already download it. But as I said earlier already, I am not yet able to download separately the trees and custom content that I use in my maps. I just did put one folder in with a lot of custom made plans and a few custom made buildings that I'm using. And I hope I didn't forget any of my of my plans and stuff that I used. So that you can download it and even use it yourself if you want to. And um, maybe someone that is able to do this to extract the map content 
could help me with that and tell me uh, by putting a comment in the comment section here on my page on my YouTube um, how to extract uh, best the exact uh, items I used here on the map so that I can give you that separately that would be super helpful uh, I hope uh, you will have some fun playing here on the map because I really did put a lot of work into this one I don't know I'm partly working here for a month or more uh, on maps I'm doing uh, it might be also important for you that I know my channel is not by it doesn't have the best video quality it doesn't have the best uh, sound quality i know my youtube channel is very retro i'm a very retro person also so if you don't mind that you might want to subscribe to the channel um, because i try to show you some creative work i'm doing but mainly i'm doing uh, indie game content here so new games that are on steam or on good old games um, that you might miss out otherwise so if you're interested into that and want to support uh, small indie developers you might want to subscribe to my page also and if you're more interested into sims maps then you will of course also have to subscribe because i'm going to show you a lot more of it i'm pretty sure i got a lot of maps for those people who are still playing sims 3 it might be interesting to download those and play with them and i truly believe that there are very very few maps in the sims that are that detailed and that's just because i got so much fun doing this and i have so many nice impressions from traveling other countries that i can use here for my maps so that they just look a bit different to those you would normally get anywhere else so you might enjoy having those and if you do then please subscribe to the channel to get more of it hopefully i can give you a lot of them that you can enjoy them okay guys i think that's enough for now you saw most of the map of course there will be some tiny spots that i left out and couldn't show you that you will discover yourself when you are on the map and i see you then at the next one i might do some indie videos some indie games again and also some more of the sims maps i might show also and i see you then at the next one bye bye